Our social environment is full of voices. An important function of the auditory brain is to process who gives the sound and how he or she might feel. No surprise that the human brain is specially tuned to voices. And why would it be any different for other animals? Well, until now, we knew almost nothing about it. This is the first time we could compare brain function between humans and any non-primate animal. We asked how do dogs process dog sounds and how similar it is to the way humans process human sounds. Dogs and humans have lived together for tens of thousands of years. People often hear dog barkings and dogs hear human sounds every day. So how do we process the sounds of the other species? We trained 11 dogs to lay motionless in an fMRI scanner. This made it possible to run the very same neuroimaging experiment on dog and human participants, something that has never been done before. Dogs' training was based on uh, positive reinforcement techniques, that is, we praised them a lot while they were lying on the scanner bed, and of course we used food reward as well, and in addition we applied a specific aspect of the model driver training technique that's based on social learning, and uh, in this case the model, an experienced dog, was lying on the scanner bed and this one was praised and rewarded and another dog or two other dogs could watch this dog and all the experimenters and trainers attention uh, was oriented to this dog while the other one could watch and, and uh, it wanted to, to get on the scanner bed, wanted to participate in the test and its motivation increased in this way to, to go there and to, to have fun. We checked both dogs' and humans' brain activities while they listened to dog and human sounds, ranging from negative ones like whining or crying to positive ones like playful barking or laughing. Dogs have dedicated voice areas in their brains, just as people do. Voice area of the dog responds more strongly to dog sounds, and the voice area of the human brain responds more strongly to human sounds. Voice areas are located very similarly in the dog and human brain. This means that these areas evolved at least 100 million years ago the age of the last common ancestor of humans and dogs. Dogs and humans use similar brain mechanisms to process social information. This is a first step to understand what makes vocal communication between dogs and humans so successful.